Hello everyone and welcome back to Dungarumpa 2 Goodbye Despair Blind. In the last one we played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case and I still have no idea how it is exactly emotive. Uh, we also had way better camera quality for some reason. Well, I don't know about way better. But we certainly had better camera quality in the last one for some reason. And I genuinely have no idea why. Sometimes the camera just decides, no, no, we aren't going to do, do a good one today. You know, it would be nice for like a single second. And then... So prepare for a lot of lines through every single character's face this episode. Um, am I being, uh, being too much of a dick? Because, like, oh my god, I absolutely fucking hate the camera. Um, anyway, presents. Have a couple of new ones for my spending spree. The Faulkner's Muffler, a muffler crafted from the fur of a legendary luck dragon. It's swelteringly hot to wear in the land of eternal summer. Uh, spy Spike. A spike that you can wield with swiftness and agility, just like a real spy. Also known as a spy spy. Oh, fancy schmancy. Name wise, I guess. L Lilith. Lilithenol. Lilithenol's wings? A model left behind by flight engineer Otto Lilethanol. It's modelled with the dreams of those who aim for the sky. It's a model? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, can't really tell what that is. Many-sided dice set. A full set of dice consisting of a d4, d6, d8, d10, d12, and a d20. Created to celebrate the 30 year anniversary of the world famous tabletop RPG, Mazes and Monsters. Ah, right, my favourite. I say as if I've ever played Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Old timey radio. A radio with a retro. Sorry, I was about to say a radio with a radio. A radio with a retro exterior, but state-of-the-art technology inside. All you got to do now is create a radio station. But, um, tush? Question mark? I don't know if that's a joke. <laughs> Memory notebook. A ragged notebook. The cover says... Kiko Oto's memory book. The writings inside are too worn out to read. Hmm... Should I know? Is that a reference? This is gonna be like the cat thing in Ultra Despair Girls where I just have no idea and never find out. Dull kitchen knife. A kitchen knife that's useless for cutting. A first rate, rate cook will never use this knife. Well, I guess I know what to not give Teru Teru in the bonus mode. Compact costume. By chanting a secret spell, this mysterious compact mirror will transform you into anything. Even if you're a girl who doesn't stand out much, this item will help you out. Will help put you at the front and center. I, I don't really know who'd want that, to be honest. Secret Wind Sword Book! A book documenting a certain sword technique named after Sayaka M. Hmm. <laughs> really, the beautiful movements of this technique look like you're cutting through fluttering flower petals. Even the sword itself looks like it's singing. That is a cool joke. <laughs> Sorry, Sayaka. Uh, and one more. Oh! It, uh, it's Mahiru's panties! It seems she has an eye for detail when it comes to undergarments. Really? Because it, it kind of just looks like... It's white and black to me. That's... And that's all I'm getting from this. Absolutely nothing else. Anyway, time for pet... Oh my god, that looks atrocious on the camera. Well, anyway, let's g let's give him some, uh, some coffee. I've got a lot of coffee. You, do you want some coffee? You should feed babies coffee, right? 
Oh, see, so he loved it. Or she loved it. I don't know. Am I supposed to be gendering my <laughs> my little baby? It's not like I know. Have some Google Puff cake. Do you like that? Do you like my cake? Yeah, I thought you'd like my cake. Okay, what now? What else do we have a lot of? I know I have a lot of Kakeshi Dynamos. Um, I should probably give him some crushed earrings. And the jewelry, too. Uh, where's the Kakeshi Dynamo? Uh, I, first of all, I want to see how many of these I actually have. Uh, I have five Nitro Racers, too. Should probably get rid of it. Six Kakeshi Dynamos! Well, now that I know what this is, I probably shouldn't be giving it to the child. But here, have my vibrator. <laughs> Don't mind me. I am pet owner of the year. Uh, any more stuff? I've got a lot of... You know what? Yeah, you can have this t-shirt. I don't think anyone's going to want that t-shirt. That and uh, even if they do, I don't think I'm going to chance it. Because it is not a very attractive t-shirt. <laughs> Which, is it even a t-shirt? Or is it a button-up? I mean, it says it's a t-shirt, so I'll take its word for it. Here, have an earring of crushed evil. I feel like Gundam's the only guy on Earth who's going to be liking that anyway. So, you can have that. Uh, go from the bottom up. Oh, uh, yeah, I can... Here's panties, totally. Um... I've got a lot of angels fruit. You can have some of my angels fruit. Now, now I don't even know if the camera's straight. God damn it. Yeah, have some jewelry. I'm gonna give you so much hope. You aren't gonna believe how much hope you're gonna get. Can I give it a man's nut? Do you want a man's nut? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> it wanted a man's nut. That is a bad baby. <laughs> yeah, that was too. Uh, okay, one more. I'll probably just, I'll just give him more coffee, I guess. Here, yeah. have some coffee. I also got some water during my rabid present collection. So I, I guess I didn't even need to spend that one monocoin on uh, on water. Anyway, yes, let us leave as the camera quality slowly deteriorates. Oh, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. I should check who's hanging around. Oh, even better on this screen. God, fucking... Why? Why does it do this to me? Every fucking other day. It's not even day. It's every other fucking time I try to use the camera. I mean, it is every other day as well. But, like, sometimes it, it, just, it just looks possible. And other times... Yeah, it, it just looks awful. I don't know. Maybe it's just on my end that it looks really bad. And then it comes out, like, processed and it's fine. But, like, I'm not going to know that for a long time. So, and even if it was a short time, it wouldn't even matter. Because it'd already be too late regardless. Ugh. Technology! I think we should go back to the old camera for an episode or two. Just to see if it looks any more decent. I don't, I don't think I've used the old one for this game yet. It might look a little bit better. Or at least a little bit passable. Anyway. Uh, Mikami Buki, Hyoko, and Chiaki, and I guess Nagito is just there. Anyone else just hanging around? Nope, doesn't look like it. Awesome, okay. Two people outside, two people inside. Uh, oh, there you are, Mikan. How you doing? Are you ready to get... Oh, there, oh, oh. 
That's some really bad quality right there. Let's, let's hit you from back here. How you doing? Ugh. Sorry, Mikan. I don't mean to, uh, ugh, at you specifically. Just really bad on the camera quality right now. Sorry, I know I'm like, I Look, I'm just, I'm gonna admit it. Just getting ready to record this episode, I abused the, sh verbally abused, mind you, the ever-living shit out of this camera, and I, uh, I'm not letting it go, all right? <laughs> And uh, Mihiru would not be happy with me abusing cameras, but uh, I also don't think she'd be happy with uh, the resolution we're getting right now. What is what is this, like 240p? Okay, actually the resolution itself isn't that bad, but my god, you can fucking see the screen lines in literally everything. It's, it's the worst. It is genuinely the worst. Uh, hi, Mikan. Uh, hello. Uh, good morning. It's such a nice day today. I'm so glad it's sunny. I mean, if it wasn't sunny, it'd be a waste. Uh, I mean, yeah, it would suck if it was raining. Huh? Waste. Uh, it's nothing. I was only mumbling to myself just now. So, if you... Uh, I'll excuse myself first. Wait, wait. What? Is something going on? Um. Uh, yeah, no, no, I, I don't know. Apparently, something's happening, though. Hey, Buki, you look, look, looking bad. Uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What are you groaning about? If Buki isn't groaning for some gross reason like Nekomaru does. I'm worried about a more sublime, a more serious matter. Oh, excuse me. And that matter is... Yes. Ibuki's music genre from now on! Music genre? I escape the pop sounds of the girl band genre. So I'm thinking about changing my musical stylings completely. Ah, I see. Uh, but there's nothing that comes to mind. Oh, this is very troubling. Oh. Meow at me. Hajime, if you think of anything, I look forward to hearing your advice. But is that something you can really decide on a whim? I'm I'm not so sure about that, but I mean she's the ultimate musician, so I'm sure it'd be fine. I mean probably, right? That would make sense, I think. Okay, I held that for a little too long. I don't know the song yet, okay? Good morning, Hyoko. Hey, hey. Doesn't Chiaki get bored of playing the same game over and over again? She's not going to reply to my greeting, is she? <laughs> I don't understand gamers at all. In fact, I don't even want to understand them. Seriously, everyone here is such a weirdo. <laughs> Except Mahiru. Yeah, there we go. I can get it right when I'm talking like <laughs> Yoko. When I'm with you guys, I feel like I'm gonna become a weirdo too. I feel like you already are one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think you are too, Yoko. Anyway, how you doing, Chiaki? Good morning. Oh, no, she looks alright. Wow, oh, great. Now the camera's got favoritism too, Jesus. <sighs> Camera. Actually, it just generally looks a little bit better in here. At least on my end. Uh, again, not good, but it looks a bit better. Good morning, Hajime. Oh, it's rough for you to reply so quickly in the morning. Yep. Yeah, I just finished playing a game right now. Hey, hey. More importantly, I was wondering, is someone bringing food to Nagito? No, I brought him through yesterday. Good. <laughs> I brought him food yesterday morning. I don't know about the others. Is it alright if I see how he's doing later? I'll head over to the restaurant for now. Well, I, I guess Mahiru isn't going to have to be uh, forced to do it today. Neither are we going to be forced to do it either. I mean, unless Chiaki just really decides to not want to go through with that. Good day. Good morning, Hajime. Oh, wow, Sonia, you don't look too bad either. Well, what do you know? Yeah, good morning. 
After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate and set myself at a table near the window. <laughs> what is it, Ajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? What? You just eat too much, Akane. <laughs> you wanna talk? All you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. <laughs> These gummies have four different fruit, fla further fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. Like you should just eat real fruit. I mean, as much as I'd hate to admit it, she is kind of right. <laughs> I mean, take it from Akane to know how to eat, I guess. It seems like a bad time to bring up that game all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you this. I did not need to hear that right now, Gundam. I really did not need to hear that right now, Gundam. Yes. Mahiru missing. Hmm? After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant. And sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. Uh, she's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. Oh dear, bump the camera. Oh my fuck. Everything is going wrong. And now, Sonia, you don't even look good anymore. <laughs> I wonder if she is not feeling well. Yeah, if she just doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a small chance that she's... What the? A small chance she's what? This woman here is in the hotel. Well, you know what? Thank you, Akane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Didn't mean to put that fear in anyone's hearts. <laughs> Don't say such a spooky thing. As punishment, how about you run around in a circle three times, say woof, and jump off a cliff? Hey, uh, you know what? Don't upset my heart either, Kazumichi. I, I don't want to die like that! Hey, hey. What was Mahiru doing outside the hotel? Yo. Yeah, she said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. What? She wanted to be alone. She's planning to play that game. Shut up! What are you saying, pig bath? There's no way Mahiru would play video games. Oh, god damn it! I already lost it. She's not like that slope of gamer girl over there. Huh? Oh, are you referring to me? <laughs> I am pig bath, aren't I? It looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. And while I was lost in thought, or alone, and someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo. Oh, uh, hey, Kazuichi. Hey, Hajime. Got a sec? W what is it? Kazuichi leaned forward out of his seat, and glanced quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Yeah. Today, 2.30pm. Come to the supermarket. But don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Yeah, everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. Oh no. What does he mean it's bad? Hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... Uh, nothing. It's got nothing to do with you, so uh, just relax and go away. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you fiends? You make me laugh. Laugh, I say! You've elevated arrogance to an art form. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. I am the Forbidden. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. Oh, my tears. All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. Oh my god, that's adorable. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Yeah, anyway, Hajime. That's what's happening, so I'll see you then. 
Oh, Gundam, were you actually, like, worried about us? Did you think something bad was going bad? Well, maybe he was just, like, worried for us in a group context. Or, like, oh, shit, they're going to do something shifty. But, hey, no, I'm... Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Huh? Conserve my energy? Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah. What was that about? Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi. And that day's breakfast came to an end. Uh, Kazuichi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30pm. But what did he mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Oh, are we going to skip free time today then? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. Oh no, we are going to get free time. Ooh, which means this might be the last one. Oh, it is just... Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. That's weird. Because, like, in Danganronpa 1, yeah, it was usually, like, ew. Excuse me. In the middle chapters, it was, you know, uh, 2, 3, and 4. It was um, always 5 free time events. But we usually got... Oh, excuse me. Huh. Well, like, every bodily function. Um, we, uh, what was I saying? Uh, for those, we usually ended up with, like, um, and then we ended up, like, getting the motive right before, like, and that's what cut off the free time. And I guess here we're uh, gonna hang out with Kazuichi. Uh, I mean, alright, sure, I'm down to mess around with Kazuichi. First of all, gonna actually go hang out with Gundam, uh, wherever he may be. Uh, oh, there he is. He's at the ranch. Although, before we do that, I would kind of... Huh. Not very many people are available right now. No one on the bottom row is available. Fuyuhiko isn't available, and neither is Kazuichi. Huh. Hmm. Well, I mean, Mikan did sort of give the impression that they were going to... Okay. Oh, I think I got it now that I said <laughs> now that I said that. Okay, I, I think I think uh, I think we're probably gonna end up with a murder tomorrow morning, and we're gonna preempt that by having a lovely day out in the sun, just the girls and man's nut. You know what I mean? <laughs> God damn it, Kazuichi. God. Damn it. <laughs> Again, maybe I shouldn't be surprised. That is how we go. And dang oh god, that looks awful. Yeah, you know what? Purely for the sake of the camera, and because I'm sure we're going to get like an entire event tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, at 2.30pm. Um, yeah, considering that, I think we're actually going to end the episode after hanging out with Gundam. And to be honest, with how much I just randomly talk about free time events, I'm going to suppose it'll probably be, like, still a 35-minute episode. <laughs> hey, Gundam. It's extremely quiet. Are the spirits of the Earth afraid of something? What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Gundam? Yes, you can, Hajime. I praise your good judgment. No matter how many there are, they'll never be able to invade my surroundings. Though you may be affected by my magic instead. <laughs> I was forced to listen to Gundam's story about the Earth spirits who tend the land. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Would you like to, to, would you like to give Gundam a present? Yeah, definitely. 
Would I like to adjust the camera a little bit? Absolutely. Uh, okay. He would absolutely like these. <laughs> Great work, my servant! It is said five valuable assets exist in the world. You have my gratitude for discovering one of them. I wonder if that means he has like five presents he really loves. Thank you! Hold it. If you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. Actually, you know what? While we're here, let me just refresh myself on our last free time event with Gundam. What was his last one exactly? Oh, that's right. He has his magical website. The Exciting Breeding Journal. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. Just as I thought. You know nothing. You will know true terror if you look down on them just because they fit in your palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, even their own children. Their, ter their territoriality is frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Is that real hamster behaviour? I don't... Today's fight started when Sandy got greedy and encroached upon Jumpy's territory. Jumpy was knocked aside and his foot stepped into Magazi's territory. Then Magazi got angry and, and unleashed his anger onto Champy. I was able to quell their age by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not be that easy next time. Was that supposed to be quell their rage? <laughs> and oh, that's why he's... That's why he's wearing bandages. I see. That's troubling. So every day you get bitten by your hamsters. Is that what I'm hearing? Because <laughs> they fight over territory? Hey, I mean, hamsters, man. Could that be the reason Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? By the way, do you know which species of my four dark davers of destruction has the largest body? Uh, the fat one. I mean, which species of hamster? Uh, uh, um, I honestly have no idea. To be honest, I think I've only even heard of a golden hamster. So I'm going to start with that one. Because that's at least a name I'm familiar with. Okay, maybe that's why I'm familiar with it. Golden hamsters. Golden hamsters are the biggest species, right? Yes. Those fearsome demon beasts boast the largest size among all hamster species. However, they are also the most docile and are known for being the smartest, too. Other tribes feel no fear. Thus, they give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. But only golden knows fear. Thus, they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. You're saying they understand what happens when they bite people? That's why you must pay attention to their stress levels when you're breeding them. Hmm. Well, I certainly didn't know that. However, there isn't the only... That isn't the only feature of goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns. You could say, you could even say they have unlimited combinations. It's like a giraffe spots. After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur. A hybrid creature with dominant spots and bands. Now all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. Well, I mean, when you say it like that, it sounds like it's your kid, but uh, I see you're working on a breeding project. I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. Well, of course he is. He's a man. He's an animal man. And, uh, you know, animal people tend to like their animals a little bit, you know. 
Yeah, like, uh... I sort of went over this... Well, did I really go over this? I've definitely mentioned it again. I don't actually... I'm, yeah, I'm not sure if I actually went over this with... During the heroes. But, um... Yeah, like, I... I, mean, I have said this at least before. That I, I do like it when the free time events... Give you a little more about their talents. And so far, that's really what we've got from Gundam. It's, like, purely been about his talent. And, like, it, it's nice, you know? I, you know, like... Someone else I need to stop saying so much. It, it, it is nice whenever someone's nice, you know? I, I like... God damn it, stop saying like. <laughs> but... Don't say you know. <laughs> Don't say, you know, when someone, when someone's good with animals, it, it, it makes them feel like a better person, do you know what I mean? And I don't think that's just me, I, I think. <laughs> you know, I, there's like the, um, the... Belief? Yeah. Superstition? I, uh, I don't know, but... You know... It, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like uh, pe people say that uh, animals are attracted to those of, like, pure, who are pure of heart. Or that sort of thing. And, you know, I, I, think, I think Gundam's a nice guy, you know? Especially based on, uh, like, the conversation we just had with Kazuichi. So, uh, yeah, uh, he's also adorable. Let me get that out of the way. <laughs> like, the thing with his hamsters in his hands. Adorable. I hope we can get some more, you know? Because we got, we got, like, Mihiru's family things in the main story. I hope we can get more... More Gundam, you know? More Gundamisms. Get get a look at that lonely little man. <laughs> lonely big man, actually. He's pretty tall, isn't he? His hair is pretty tall as well. I'm sure that adds something. You're probably taking care of other animals, right? Uh, are those demon beasts okay, too? There are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I have already given them orders to continue my research into the synthesis of demonic beasts. It's demon beasts. Damn it. They know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious experiments. Beyond that, I've already made arrangements to leave my demon beasts to those I trust. He's crazy prepared. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. Well, <laughs> I don't really, I don't really know if that's, um, if, if raising pets really has anything to do with this specifically. Just saying. I think this is more, uh, Gundam's eccentricity. You know, I mean, he's a demon lord, you know? Someday a hero's gonna come strike him down, you know? When the day comes, who's gonna take care of Hamtaro? You will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. Suck, suck. Such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 days after they're born. Remember well. After saying that, Gundam walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep affection Gundam feels toward all animals, not just hamsters. Yeah, I think so too, Hajime. I, I got that as well. After seeing Gundam wallowing in sadness, I left the area. Oh man, don't leave him on that! I guess we'll have to pick up next chapter with him. Assuming he survives, of course. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. Don't want to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others. Don't want to think about it, but... He's plotting to... 
No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. I also don't... Oh, we're going right there. I also don't think he'd uh, call you out if he was going to murder someone. Try to shoot... Huh? It's well past the arranged time and there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I'd been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon until... It's a... <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> what the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. Late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. A guy who doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Well, you know, can you do me a little favor? A little favor? Yeah, I just overheard something. Apparently it's Miss Sonia's idea. For a change of pace. Looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. And hence why Mikan was like, Oh, it, it'd be such a waste, you know, if it, if it wasn't even raining today. It doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you. Yeah, as expected, a Miss Sonia splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much, it's shocking! My heart trembles around her so much, it's about to burn out! So, let's crash it together. Why me? Well, it's weird to figure coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? How about a scenario where you and I go to the beach, and then we run into the girls by coincidence? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any other guys to help me with this. Nakamaru can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is... Well, Gundam. Fuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but... I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey! I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know? Uh, thanks? Uh, and now you're just gonna walk all over my kind act? You're snapping at me?! If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die! There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi, after all. If I have no choice, then fine. Yahoo! That's my Hajime! That's how a soul brother should act. So what do I have to do? Well, based on what I overheard, it looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. That's why we gotta head over to that diner first! Her plan is to be at the beach before they get there! And we're gonna act all, and we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it. So we need to go to the diner. Yahoo! I'm getting all excited now. That makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like he can't take a hint. And there we go. Actually, let's look at Gundam's report card first, and then we can end the episode. Gundam. He's definitely tough to understand, but I can tell he truly loves animals. It made me realize just how much responsibility it takes to raise a pet. Well, nice and quick. And I don't have anything else to say about Gundam's free time events. So I'm gonna set it all there. Simple, and I like it. I like that it focuses on his talent. Again, it doesn't give us a huge, in uh, a huge insight into Gundam, but uh, well, I mean, it does. Just not in like a, a personality. Well. Debatable. Uh, I guess backstory is more the thing I'm going for, but it, do it does reveal his personality. Like, really, you sort of get that um, that the kindness below the surface, I guess. But I don't know. And in, it's in the same way. It's like, well, he's a breeder. Uh, I kind of expect that. Someone who's good with animals. I I feel like it, it makes sense for them to be kind-hearted. Anyway. I'll see you guys in the next one, where we're gonna probably spend the last time slot before terror happens. But hey, at least it'll be... Uh, <laughs> at least it'll be some man's not fun. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna let that go. Anyway, guys, see you next time. And I just realized this is going to be the second chapter in a row where we're going to get a bunch of Mekon fan service, isn't it? Well, <laughs> poor girl, but there's always got to be one, I guess. Well, I mean, there doesn't. There wasn't really in Danganronpa 1. 
but oh well. Anyway, uh, well, what is the, the fourth time? See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.